Welcome back to Financial Futures, where we break down the latest in personal finance, economic policies, and what they mean for your wallet. If you're looking to stay ahead of the curve in today's fast-changing financial landscape, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into some of the most talked about financial proposals coming from Vice President Kamala Harris. Could you be on the receiving end of some extra cash? We're breaking down who's eligible, who's not, and what these proposals could mean for your financial future. Kamala Harris is promising to deliver financial relief to millions of Americans with several new initiatives. But, as always, the devil is in the details. Are these programs as good as they sound, or are there strings attached? Stick around because we're going to dissect each one, so you know exactly where you stand. Before we get into the nitty-gritty, make sure to subscribe to Financial Futures. Click that notification bell so you never miss an update on policies that could impact your bank account. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. So, what exactly is Kamala Harris proposing? In recent speeches and policy drafts, Harris has outlined several initiatives aimed at easing the financial strain on American families. These include an expansion of the Earned Income Tax Credit, a boost to the Child Tax Credit, first-time homebuyer assistance and a massive plan to increase affordable housing. But who will actually benefit from these programs? Let's break it all down, starting with the Earned Income Tax Credit. The Earned Income Tax Credit, or EIEC, is one of the cornerstones of Harris's plan. This proposal aims to expand the EIEC, which is already one of the most effective anti-poverty tools in the U.S. The expansion could mean bigger checks for low- to moderate-income workers. But here's the thing this credit is specifically for those with earned income. That means if you're living on a fixed income, like social security or disability benefits, you won't qualify. So, while this is a fantastic move for millions of working Americans, especially those in lower wage jobs, it leaves out a significant portion of the population, particularly retirees and those unable to work. We'll get into who qualifies, how much you could receive and what changes to expect under Harris's plan. Next, let's talk about the child tax credit. Remember how the child tax credit was temporarily expanded in 2021, giving families up to $3,600 per child? Harris wants to bring that back and even take it a step further with an additional $6,000 credit for newborns. This proposal could significantly ease the financial burden for families with young children making childcare and other expenses more manageable. But again, there's a catch. This credit is geared towards families with children under 18, so if you don't have dependents, you won't benefit directly from this expansion. And while this initiative is expected to lift millions of children out of poverty, it's important to note that this plan may face significant political hurdles before it becomes law. I'll explain the likely political challenges and what needs to happen for this credit to become permanent. Now, let's shift gears to housing. One of the most eye-catching proposals from Harris is the $25,000 down payment assistance for first-time homebuyers. This is a substantial amount that could make the dream of homeownership a reality for many. However, it's crucial to understand the limitations here. The assistance will likely come with income caps, meaning not everyone will qualify. Plus, in today's housing market, with skyrocketing home prices and rising interest rates, even $25,000 might not go as far as it used to. This program aims to address the racial homeownership gap by targeting minority communities, which have historically faced barriers to buying homes. But with housing inventory still low and competition high, it remains to be seen whether this initiative can make a meaningful impact. We'll explore the criteria for eligibility, the pros and cons of the program, and whether it could help you secure a home in this competitive market. Speaking of housing, Harris has also pledged to build 3 million new affordable housing units across the country. This is an ambitious goal that could, in theory, help ease the housing crisis. But there are several questions that need answering. Where will these units be built? Will they truly be affordable? Or will rising costs eat into the benefits? 
and how long will it take for these homes to become available? This proposal could potentially benefit low-income families and individuals struggling with housing costs, but it's far from a quick fix. The construction of affordable housing is a complex issue, involving not just federal funding, but also state and local cooperation, zoning laws, and community support. We'll delve into the specifics of how this plan might unfold, the potential timeline, and what it could mean for renters and future homeowners. So, are these proposals likely to become reality? While some initiatives, like the child tax credit expansion, have a solid chance of passing through Congress, others might face significant opposition. The political landscape is divided, and the costs of these programs are high. Plus, with concerns about inflation and government spending, there's no guarantee that all of these proposals will see the light of day. It's also important to consider the broader economic impact of these programs. While they aim to provide financial relief, they could also lead to higher taxes or contribute to the national debt. We'll discuss the potential economic consequences, what experts are saying, and how these factors could influence whether these proposals move forward. So, what do you think? Are these proposals a step in the right direction, or do they leave too many people out in the cold? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think you'll benefit from any of these initiatives? And if so, which one are you most excited about? Don't forget to subscribe to Financial Futures and hit that notification bell so you stay updated on these and other important financial developments. Share this video with anyone who might find it helpful, and as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.